first and foremost, your client, Jordan Willis, is he free and clear tonight or is he still facing some kind of potential criminal exposure? There was never any uh, criminal charges. There is no case. Uh, the police have stated that this is not a homicide investigation and they do not suspect foul play. So he, he could do an interview. You, you'd be fine with him doing a TV interview because you, you now feel confident he has no concerns ahead of him. He could do an interview if he chose to, um, as I advised him, as I advise all my clients, um, that he shouldn't say anything at this time until the investigation has been concluded. I'm so curious about what could have possibly happened, as are so many people watching right now, as I'm sure you are, and potentially even do you know from speaking to your client, were there drugs involved with the party, uh, the football watching party that night? There are uh, some things that I'm not going to be allowed to comment on based on confidentiality uh, reasons. There were, uh, in addition to the three gentlemen that uh, are deceased, in addition to Jordan, there was one other individual that was present in the home. And um, I'm not going to comment on anything about the activities that were going on there other than the fact that they were there and they were socializing after the Chiefs game. It's interesting, though, that you would bring up um, that there was another person there other than the, the three who died, the owner of the home, and then this mystery man after the question I asked about drugs. Is there a reason for that? No. Um, just, in fact, I learned uh, a little bit more about this other individual today. And I, I also, uh, it's my understanding that he spoke with police as well and that he supported uh, what Jordan told law enforcement uh, and what we believe actually was going on at the time. Has that fourth man and Jordan, have they spoken together since this tragedy unfolded? I don't believe that they have. And yet it's your understanding that this fourth mystery person whose name I hope will surface soon, uh, his account of what happened that night uh, is directly in correlation with, with Jordan's account. Sure, and he's not a mystery person. He's one of the group of friends that they watch the game with. He's known to everybody. He's known to law enforcement. Um, so he's not a mystery person. He's somebody there. Um, and essentially, from my understanding, everything that he told the police is in line with what Jordan told the police, even though they were uh, interviewed separately. I'm so glad he's not a mystery person. What's his name? I'm, I'm not going to uh, provide his name um, if and when he chooses to uh, go public and say his name, then um, he can do that. He's not my client. I don't represent him. I don't feel comfortable uh, doing that. Okay, I understand. Did your client ever leave the home from Sunday night and the football game until uh, Tuesday when they discovered the bodies in his backyard? Did he ever leave and go outside the home? Uh, no, I don't believe that he did. Um, he's self-employed. He works out of his home. Um, he stayed in the home the entire time from, uh, you know, the basic scenario is they had watched the Chiefs game in a couple of different places. They went back to his place, uh, his home afterwards uh, to play some video games and hang out. And at some point during that process, he got tired and he fell asleep. Um, before he fell asleep, they were going to leave. Um, he actually escorted them to the door, said their goodbyes, opened the door. He went back on the couch and he crashed. Um, and then, then when he woke up, they were gone. And during the, the day and a half to, that that occurred, two days, I guess, because the police came at around 10 o'clock on Tuesday to his house, uh, he was doing the things that he normally does inside of his home um, and that he was sleeping, so, he was eating, so and he I was just, working. Can I back up? Yeah, can I back up for a moment there? Are you saying that your client, Jordan Willis, escorted the three victims to the door? He showed them to the door. Did they uh, walk I don't, out it, the It's door? not that formal, Ashley. He didn't escort them. They're his friends. Okay. They've been together all day. They're leaving the house. You know, they're guys. They shake hands. They hug. They see you later, bro. Whatever they did. Um, but he, he left them as they were leaving the home. It's not unusual uh, for him and his friends to, to spend time in each other's homes. It's not unusual for them to hang out when the other person isn't there even. Uh, and in this case, he was there. So for whatever reason... They either came back in the home or they went directly to the backyard. That part, no one knows the answer to. Uh, Jordan believes they came back in the house and hung out for a while and continued to play uh, video games. And at some point, uh, they went outside in the backyard. But to be clear, they left, those three men left the house. Jordan saw them leave the house. He said goodbye to them. He laid down and he crashed and they let, went out the front door. Yes. They went out the front door. He, he witnessed them leaving the front door of his house. 
Sure. Yeah. After he said goodbye to them, he was hanging out. He went back on the couch and he slept. So at some point they decided to either come back inside the house and hang out for a while or uh, they went out uh, on the backyard and hung out, which due to the cold temperatures, I don't believe that's the case. I, I think they probably came back inside and continued to play video games and hang out for a while before they left. Can you just tell me if there's anything in the backyard of interest? Is there a fire pit? Is there something? Is there a barbecue? Is there something of interest in the backyard that would have drawn them to go there? You know, I don't know what's in the backyard. I only, I've only i never been to the house. What I know is what you know from these pictures here. Um, it was a really cold night, so I doubt that anybody would be out there socializing. You know, typically when guys are hanging out or people are hanging out at the house, people will go outside uh, randomly to uh, smoke or do whatever, get some fresh air, and then come back in. Um, other than that, I, you know, I can't speculate about what else was going on out there. So fascinating. John Paserno, I hope you'll come back. And can you just formally put a request into your client, Jordan Willis, that we'd really like to interview with him when he's ready? Sure. And, you know, uh, he's as much in the dark as you are and as I am. And we all want answers to find out what happened to these lifelong two of them he went to high school with. So he's known them for over 20 years. Um, they're his friends. Um, he's deeply hurt by, by their passing. And, and he wants answers as much as everyone does. It's heartbreaking for these three families as well. I really appreciate you talking to me tonight. Thank you, John. Good. All right. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.